Yeah, my grandma and grandpa were had a old farm. They had a had a big barn on it. It's a the cow that had it for them. Had milk cows. They had this little milk shed, little house out beside it where they took the milk and stored it before they guys she strained it, made butter out of it, and all that kind of stuff. And uh, it was empty, so my uncle Fred and I, he's a couple of years older than me, we decided we'd go out and make a cabin out of that thing for Bunk us. It's a bunkhouse. So we went out there and we made us a bed and all that kind of stuff. We got everything sorted. I had a glass door on it. had a glass on the door on the window. It was glass. So we covered that up with a little shade. And then we, we'd go out in the corn crib and get silk off of the corn and smoke it out there. And so we were out there smoking one day and of course we thought we were hiding because nobody could see us because you know how kids are. But anyway, Grandma was time to eat, so she called us in for breakfast or whatever it was. So we go in the house and she says, what have you boys been doing? And my uncle Fred, he says, well, we haven't been doing anything. We went out in the bunkhouse just reading magazines. And she says, oh, yeah? She says, uh, you haven't been smoking out there, have you? My uncle Fred says, oh, no. He says, we, Grandma, we, and Mom, we've never been smoking out there at all. She says, well, I'll tell you what, there's a lot of smoke coming out of there. I just wonder where that's coming from. <laughs> she knew every minute that we were out there what we were doing. It was kind of funny. And that's Grandma Jewel Noble. Was, yeah, my, my mom's mom, Jewel Noble. And she had a, Grandpa built her a nice chicken house. She had a, all kinds of chickens. And of course, we'd go out and gather the eggs. You know, we had a lot of eggs. We had chicken every Sunday for dinner and that kind of stuff. So one, one Sunday after church, Grandma said, told us, go out and get a couple of chickens for dinner. So my uncle and I, we, my granddad had a basement, and the boys all slept down the basement. The girls, I slept upstairs with grandma and grandpa. So my uncle and I, we thought, you know, we had this little window we could open up, and we could see right out towards the chicken house, and we could see the chickens. So we got the idea we'd take a 22 and kill a couple of chickens. So we did. We killed a couple of chickens. We went out and got them, brought them in. She said, did you boys shoot those chickens with a 22? And my Uncle Freddie said, yeah, we did. And boy, she laid into him and she says, I don't want you ever shoot my chickens with a 22. She didn't have a problem going out and grabbing by the neck and twisting her necks off and letting them flop around the ground, but she didn't want them as chickens with a 22. She was her chickens. She wow. didn't want to shop with no 22. And would she be the one that go out and bring their necks? Oh yeah, she'd go out and get them or two them at a time make, and just wring their why necks. Why did she and, make you guys do that? Well, she, well they were her chickens. She wanted to do it herself. She wanted to kill him herself. Ugh. Gag. But I mean, they flopped around, you know, and us kids, we'd just jump around and watch those chickens flop. We thought it was the biggest thing ever. So Grandpa Noble's name was? Jim. Jim Jim James Jewel. Noble. Oh, that's right. Duh. Wiley. Jimmy. We James named him after. Noble Wiley. I had a dream when Jimmy, when poor Jimmy was born, about my grandpa. And uh, I told I told Bobby about it. And uh, anyway, she says, well, we'll just name Jimmy after your grandpa. I said, that sounds good to me. Oh, so cool. we named him after my grandpa. Yeah, he died with a heart attack. He had two heart attacks. He had a, my aunt and uncle lived up in Spokane. My aunt Iva and Uncle Verdon. And my granddad would go up there and go fishing all the time. And he had a... We sold him, I was working at Spick, there's Bigfoot's crew right yeah, there. Yeah, there they are. Anyway, Spotty. we had a, uh, we had a, uh, uh, at Chevrolet Garage, he bought a new Chevy 2 station wagon, and that's what he was driving. And he drove up, up to Spokane, and he's getting ready to come home on Division, coming down Division. He had a heart attack, and he couldn't get his quinine pills out of his pocket quick enough and he had a heart attack and he ran into this store. Well he didn't he didn't he didn't die there but he he, he was you know pretty bad shape so he got him to the hospital. Anyway uh, I got that car fixed up for him and I I took it back back to him. But he had another heart attack later and he finally passed away but I know they keep shoving that car farther and farther. Dad, tell about the um, fishing license story. Oh, well, I, 
grandma Wiley uh, with that grandpa around here fishing in Arkansas at my uncle's place across her on the river, coming from the Yakima River. And they were sitting there fishing and the game board spotted him, so he come down with an objective fishing license. So he came down and the first one he ran to was my grandma Wiley and he says, How you having any luck? She said, No, Sonny, I'm not having any luck at all. And he says, well, do you mind if I see your, your fishing license? She said, fishing license? What are you talking about? He says, well, I need to see your fishing license. Well, she says, I'm from Arkansas, and we don't have to have a license in Arkansas. He said, well, ma'am, you're in the state of Washington now, and you've got to have a fishing license to fish here. She said, well, Sonny, I'll tell you what. She said, I don't have a fishing license, and I don't figure on buying one, and I'm still going to be fishing here when you're gone. <laughs> he just turned around and walked oh. off. What's her first name? I'm trying to think what her first. She died when she was like 52 years old. Oh, wow. Pretty, pretty early. She had cancer. Oh, my. And uh, I still can't think of her name. Uh, that's your dad's mom, D. Wiley's mother. Yeah, that's my my dad, my grandpa Wiley. Mm. And, uh, but he was a character too. After grandma passed away, he'd come out here to visit his siblings out here. And he had two daughters out here and, and uh, I actually had three daughters out here, Aunt Eunice, Aunt Nona, and Aunt Wanda. Who you remember Aunt Wanda, yes, she lived yeah, next to me yeah. at Prosser there. And uh, anyway, uh, Uncle Chuck would take him down to some lake outside of Tri-Cities and they'd go fishing. And so he, they'd take the camp trailer out there and, and he'd stay in it, him and one of his daughters. And it's fish for a couple of days, and then my uncle go pull the trailer home and go from there. But anyway, uh, he was out there fishing, so my uncle Chuck and I were going to go out and visit him. So we drove out there, and where they had the trailer park by the lake there, and we pulled in there, and my grandpa was sitting in a lawn chair, and he had his pant legs rolled up to his knees, and he had his feet sticking in the water, and he was asleep. And so we walked over there, my uncle woke him up and he kind of stirred. Well, he had a fishing line tied to his toe. Oh, my He was sitting gosh, there sleeping, fishing, yeah. And, what was his name? Uh, that was my uncle, my granddad. Uh, I told you before, now I can't remember. I'll think about it in a minute. Yeah, I'm still waiting for those papers, Dad. Yeah, I know. Genealogy. Valley Christian Stiff. Fellowship. Oh, wow. Nice little church. Yeah. All right, so let's sign off on that. My, Hit yeah. that little button. My uh, red button. Yep.